Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I need to stop recording, but I'm just so tired I can't get up. <laughs> I wish the camera could see what I see right now. You look like a pretzel. Me? <laughs> yeah. You look like you got hit by a car and died. You did. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> Today we've got a fun little 15 minute burner of um, object to shoulder, squats, and burpees. So lots of things that are gonna be really painful by the time we get a few minutes into it. Um, but we're gonna start with a warm up today. We're gonna go 222-444-666 of three different movements. And we're gonna start with inchworms. So what we're gonna do is feet about shoulder width apart. You can go a little narrower if you're more flexible. We're gonna reach down, we're gonna walk our hands out and we're gonna go past push-up position. It's gonna activate our core. Get us nice and warm. We're gonna do two of these, babe. All right, we're gonna do some air squats with a quick hold at the bottom, maybe two or three seconds. And down, and down. And then to warm up our burpees, we're gonna start with frog hops. So this is where we do the top half of a burpee with no jump. So just feet back and up, stand up. Feet back and up, stand up. That was two, two, two. We're gonna go four, four, four now. Back to inchworms. in the bottom. Good. Four frog hops. Six inchworms. That's a warm up. Does it work? Oh. I know, right? Six squats with a hold in the bottom. I'm just using this time to stretch out my ankles a bit, get my hips nice and loose. Oh. 
Okay, and six frog hops, guys. Good. All right, quick little three round warm up with the same rep schemes. The description will be below or the, the warm up will be in the description below along with the two options of the workout because we've decided to uh, social distance and stay at home. We're not gonna be at the gym. So there are gonna be certain movements that we can't do. So you're gonna see two options for today's workout, a with equipment option and a without equipment option. Uh, the with equipment option involves strict pull-ups. I don't have a pull-up bar here. I don't wanna enjoy the sunshine. So Tanya and I are both gonna do the no equipment version. Regardless, it's still 15 minutes. So if you're joining us from home and you wanted to do the workout with equipment, it's a great stimulus, it's a great 15 minute workout. By all means, do the workout alongside us. Um, the description for that workout will be below. But right now what we're gonna do is two odd object to shoulders. So essentially odd object power cleans, two goblet squats with the odd object and two odd object facing burpees because Tanya's in her nice pants and she's got a yoga mat that she's not gonna do, um, she doesn't want a burpee off of it. She's gonna do burpees in place. I will do, be doing my burpees over this kettlebell. Um, if you guys happen to be able to get equipment, either by renting it from a local gym um, or you happen to have some equipment at home, a kettlebell is probably my favorite single piece of workout equipment. So this isn't just for right now while we're um, social distancing. This is a great thing to have. If you go off to the mountains for a week and you wanna bring something with you to work out, kettlebell is a great option. Sandbag is also a great option, but the kettlebell, you can do a ton. You can swing, you can squat, you can press, you can row, you can, on grass or dirt, you can do a swing where you're throwing it and get a little bit more um, athletic with it and choose movements that are just good, a good stimulus for what you have to do on that particular day. And you can use a kettlebell in so many different ways. Um, it's my favorite piece of workout equipment if I were to only choose one. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna flip my watch around so that way my kettlebell doesn't break it. Two, 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 then four, 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 then six, 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 and for 15 minutes, we're gonna work out until the time is up, Keep uh, keeping on adding two reps to the rep scheme every round. So the first couple or few rounds are gonna go by pretty quick, but then um, we're soon gonna be in the round of 10 and 12s where each movement is taking quite some time. Um, so let's go over the movement prep. Um, if you've got something like a kettlebell, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it to one arm and alternate. So from the ground and up, and then from the ground and up. If you've got something a little bit more normal, like a sandbag, or this can, can simulate any real heavy object at home, Tanya's gonna clean it with good form, keep her back straight and bring it up to her shoulders. And then right back down, and then up to her shoulders. You can simulate the squat since you're here. Her next movement is going to be goblet squats. Really good form, babe. Should I? Um, you know, I like it on a front rack better, but I mean, this is for you to choose um, at home however you want to do your squats. What I would recommend is doing it the same way through the entire 15 minutes. If you're going to do it in a front rack position where your elbows are high and your chest is up, I think that's probably going to be the best form for you. Um, do that the entire 15 minutes. If you're going to bear hug squat it, that's gonna be more of a mid core workout. And I think that's gonna be great too. Just whatever you do, do it the entire time. And then for the burpees, we're gonna start standing up and uh, unlike other fitness modalities, we are gonna start by going chest to deck. Some, some people think burpees start by jumping first. We do that last. Um, and since I'm jumping over an object, I actually am not requiring, or I'm not required to, um, to jump up and have my hands go over my head. Um, Tanya, because she's doing burpees in place, will open her hips, jump up off the ground, and get her hands over her head. You can do the hallelujah, you can clap, you can do the jumping jack thing. Whatever you wanna do, as long as your hands go over your head. Um, so just to demo a couple, I'm gonna do um, kettlebell facing burpees. Tanya's gonna do them in place. Let's just do our two bid. As far as technique goes, because it's more of a fluid workout, these are things that you're gonna be doing 
kind of in the wild, like you squat to unload your laundry. Um, you pick things up when you put them on the counter. Um, all I care about for you today is that you do your best to keep the weight as close to your frontal plane as possible. If you squat with the kettlebell out front or you clean it with the weight coming out in front of you, it's gonna put more stress on your lower back. And if we're gonna stabilize our core through uh, both of the weightlifting movements, let's make sure that we maintain the natural S curve of your spine. So when you bend over to pick something up, back stays flat. When you're squatting, back stays flat. That's all I've got for you with movement prep. Um, we're gonna start very, very Welcome soon. Back. Welcome back everybody. We're gonna start our workout in three, two, one. Here we go.
guys. That was 15 minutes of spicy right there. Oh. Burpees. Everything me. hurt. Guys, doesn't matter how far you made it. If you worked for that 15 minutes, you did a good job. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this channel. We're exclusively on YouTube right now, just because these videos are so long and much easier to push to YouTube. Um, so the more exposure we get there, the more fitness is going on around the world, and then when it's finally time to reopen, more people in our community will have heard across the foothill and the good things we're doing there. So like, subscribe, share. If you're doing this workout on this Monday, inside or outside, garage or in your house, make sure you take little pictures or videos. Tag us at Cross the Foothill, at Tiki Fit, at JTiki, at TMTiki. Thanks for joining us. We love you. We'll see you next time.